Let's now speak to retired Israeli Brigadier General and senior researcher at the Institute for National Security Studies, Mir Elran. Mir, you were listening in on what Professor Hawash said there in terms of his response. It is a very complex situation between Israel and, uh, and obviously, in, in Gaza as well. What's your response to what he said? Well, we have to understand we're talking here about a huge strategic miscalculation on the part of Hamas. They are not taking care of their own population. They're not taking care of the Palestinian people. They're taking care of their own position, their own strength, their own prestige as a, you know, a terrorist organization. And this is really the tragedy, the way they conducted this treacherous kind of attack on civilians in Israel is incomprehensible. This is absolutely something that has to be eradicated. And that's what we are doing right now. So we try, we're trying to make very, very difficult a distinction between Hamas, between the military side and the political side, and the infrastructure of Hamas in the Gaza Strip and the, the civilian population because we do not want to hurt the Palestinian population. That's not our intent. We don't want to do that. But the problem is that while we are suggesting to the Palestinian people to run away from the Hamas-controlled area in the northern part of Gaza to the southern part of Gaza to protect themselves and their lives, and Hamas is saying, Okay, do not leave your homes because they need their own population to be supposedly their protector against the Israeli strikes. And this will not happen. We are determined. We are determined to eradicate the evil. That's what we're talking about. We're talking here about a terrorist, vicious, cruel group of people it has become strong to the extent that they lost their mind and they have been trying to my sorrow quite successfully in the first day to commit a treacherous slaughter of hundreds and hundreds of people kids and and, and elderly etc cetera, etc cetera, thinking that they have the upper hand but this was a huge mistake so we are now trying and we will be very successful in that. But, but what... We have to eliminate Hamas, and that's what we're going to do. Well, May, I was, I was going to ask you what the end game is, because we, we hear this talk about the total elimination of Hamas. You can bomb Gaza, you can eliminate the Hamas terrorists, but you can't eliminate the ideology. So what is the end I game think that, I think that you're right. I think that we should, and we are looking further to the future, absolutely, for a, uh, a political horizon. There is no doubt that, but there is no political, positive, constructive horizon for us and for the Palestinians with Hamas present in the scene. They are an obstacle. They have to be eradicated, exactly as the Western world has done to ISIS. That's exactly the idea behind it. We want to have peace with the Palestinian people. There is no doubt about that. Okay, we need that. And, and as so, far as may I just so follow? They, let me just follow up on what, what Sarah asked you, which is in terms of the end game. So clearly, we have Hamas enmeshing themselves in civilians in uh, in Gaza. Now, the question is, what does Israel do now? Caution has been urged. Clearly, the international community is on the side of Israel. What, what does Israel do now? They're amassing troops. There could well be a ground offensive. There are civilians caught in this. They need to have some way of getting out of Gaza, That's don't exactly. they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're right. I don't know exactly what Israel is going to do in terms of the military scene, OK? But there is an option, absolutely. And the Palestinians have to take that, and a very strong one, that Israel will introduce its ground forces backed with the Air Force or by the Air Force into the Gaza Strip. Okay, that's exactly why we ask, we, we ask the Palestinian people to take care of themselves because the Hamas is not the protector of the Palestinian people. It is the enemy of the Palestinian people. So they have to go to the south 
Okay, we gave them 24 hours. It is possible. It's a very small territory. And then once we are done with Hamas, we will definitely think together with the Arab world, with the international community, not only on the rehabilitation of the Middle East, but also hopefully, hopefully on pros prospective kind of an arrangement between us and the Palestinians, but without Hamas, without Hamas. Hamas has to be eliminated and not to be part of the political scene and the military scene in the Middle East. Mayor Elrond, thank you very much indeed. Uh